Today we're going to be talking about marine aquarium lighting and what I use and then my settings for my marine aquarium. So let's get to it. Are you listening? Damn. As you guys can see here, I have my schedule because I run Radeon LED lighting. So the schedule for my marine aquarium lighting, I kind of want to go through what you guys, you know, through all the steps. So at 9 o'clock, my lights turn on and... At 10 o'clock, my lights go off. So, so from 9 to 10. Alright, so my lights are on, obviously, for 13 hours a day. So we start here at 9 o'clock, what, zero intensity. And the intensity by 9.22 a.m., Hopefully this comes out great. It's 32%. Let's click on that. So, as you guys can see, right here to the left. If you guys are wondering what my settings are, these are it. Let me zoom in a little bit closer. So, we have 100% UV, 100% violet, royal blue, blue. We have 0% on my cool whites and on all my warm whites, on my green, and hyper red. The brightness on this is set at 55% as you can see here and here. Okay, as we scroll from 922 to 10, we go from 32% up to 40% by 10 o'clock intensity. Let's click that. And here, you see a difference over here. All right, so same thing goes. The UV, the violet, the royal blue, and blue are all set to 100%. This is where things start to change. My cool whites are at 50%. My warm whites are at 0%. My green is at 50%. And my red, hyper red, is at 10%. Still with the overall brightness of 50%, 55% should I say. And 55% as, as you see both. So that's the intensity. And that goes all the way from 10 to 1 p.m. So from 10 o'clock to 1 p.m. That is uh, three hours. This schedule here is like that. All these settings stay exactly out the, uh, just like this now I'm doing this because I know a lot of you guys are constantly asking hey what are what's your schedule where are you running your lights how are you running the lights now keep in mind my lights are still two feet off the water surface with about a 28 inch deep tank and with that being said I'm still hitting about 100 to 120 par on the sand bed with this schedule at 55% intensity. So let's hit one. Just so you guys can see, we are now at 1 p.m. We still have 100% on the UV, the violet, the royal blue, and blue. All right. 
And then as we come down over here to the cool white, we're at 50%. Warm white is at zero. Green is at 50%. And hyper red is at 10%. Still, overall brightness at 55%. As we go from 1 p.m. to 224, we have a, a slowly ramp down that whole time from 1 p.m. to 224 p.m. By the time it hits here, as you guys can see, it's at 32%. So let's click this and see what changes so as you guys can see total watts by the way is 421 watts let me go back here because I don't think I covered it at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at this time we are pushing 524 watts keep that in mind I, I forgot to mention this but this is 524 watts at full uh, peak of my setting here from, from, from uh, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So now that we got that out the way, let's get back over here. As I was saying, now the watts drop down to 421 watts. We have the UV, violet, royal blue, and blue all at 100%. And we have cool white, warm whites, green, hyper red at 0%. Still with the overall brightness of 55% here. So let me move the camera just over slightly over so you guys can see. So from 224 p.m. at 32% intensity all the way to 9.01 p.m. 32% should I say intensity percent let's hit that see what changes as you can see absolutely nothing we're still at 421 watts we still have UV, violet, royal blue, and blue at 100%. And we have cool white, warm white, green, and hyper red at 0%. So, for the remainder of the day, if you guys follow, from 224 all the way to 901, 32% is that schedule here. Now, as we go from 901 and slowly ramp down to 1001, so as this is going, this is slowly decreasing to 0%. Okay, everything's off. This all stays as you can see here. We are at 0 watts. Everything's off until in the morning in this whole progress. Um, starts all over the whole cycle starts all over back at um, from from 9 starts coming on to uh, 922 so I just wanted to show you guys this real quick well now that you have my schedule and my settings, hopefully that will help some of you out. Like I said, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because a lot of people has been, has been asking me, what are your lighting schedule? What exactly are you, you know, what colors are you using? You know, what intensity? All these questions. And I'm hoping that this will actually help some of you out there that are trying to, you know, program your radions uh, to, you know, maybe maybe it'll help you out. I don't know in your situation. Just because I am running that schedule 
two feet off the water line. So obviously that's going to make a big difference because if you're closer, um, you know, when it comes to your par and stuff, those readings are going to be a lot higher for you, your par. Right now I'm about 100 to 120 on the sand bed. I know I already said this, but that's two feet. So if you brought that down, those numbers are going to significantly increase on a par reading. Now, you guys can let me know if you'd like me to do another par reading video. I'm not sure if you guys would need that or just, you know, whatever the case may be. Just let me know down in the comment section down below. So with that being said, I hope this uh, concludes everybody's, you know, wondering uh, what am I doing. This is strictly radions. I, there is no other light above my tank besides Radeon. They are the Gen, uh, Gen 4s. They are the Pro Series. So, but there's no other lights at the moment. I was thinking about adding a couple Reef Bright strips to it, but honestly, I don't know if I need any other light. We are running six of the XR30s and two XR15s above an eight foot tank. So, I'm getting plenty of light coverage. I don't really think, I do like the fact that how the reef brights uh, just really make the corals pop, pop. Um, but at the end of the day, it really doesn't need any more lighting, you know, besides what I want to look at or what I think is just giving me more of a crisp pop to my corals. So with that being said, everyone, don't forget, we are coming up on the 10K. I do have a couple items that I'm giving it away uh, for the 10K. You can find the uh, video uh, on my page. Go to it, go check it out. And also don't forget, we are going to be giving away a huge, huge giveaway. Uh, fully established uh, JBJ 65 flat panel aquarium as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell for any future updates. And with that being said, this is Rico from Rico's Aquariums. Till next time, peace.